All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I re amend some container soil. Um, this first container is just my native soil. I don't think I put any, any compost in here, but let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot I buried this when, uh, when I was taking this out. You can tell from all the rains we've been getting, it's just soaking wet. Okay, I'm going to use one cup of Dr. Earth. You can get this in any hardware store. Uh, this is full of alfalfa meal, fish bone meal, and what else? Baseball meal, potassium sulfate, and kelp. So basically everything your soil needs, this has. And I'm going to use some rock dust. You can use any rock dust that you want. In this container I have some azomite rock dust. If I can get it to fit. Okay, this is about a half a cup, just another another cup. And the only reason why I'm doing one cup is because this is three and a half gallons, so it doesn't need that much amending. But we'll do some amending. Hopefully, some of this amendments will soak up some of the moisture. But yeah, lately, the past couple of days has been raining, been windy. Just everything. It actually snowed in my area for a little bit. So it's pretty cool to see. Too bad it didn't stick though. All right, give me a second. I forgot something. Okay, as you can see, these are red solo cups. And I'm going to use these to plant some lemon habaneros. But right now, I'm just going to fill up two of these with my native soil. And two more of the sandy soil. Then another two with the biochar and native soil. And then... Once those tabernacles start germinating, I'm going to plant those in my grassroots ferro pot container. And I'll show you a video of me doing that. Right now, I just want to make sure there's enough nutrients in here to sustain the plants for like a couple of weeks. 
at the very least. And then I can always top dress afterwards. But yeah, that's how I'm going to mend all the soils. So I'll just make the video real quick and just do the rest of them. Can even see that the sandy soil is pretty wet, and you know with sand it doesn't carry very much water. So to see it, it have water at all, it's pretty surprising. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the rain we're getting this week. But all right, that's how we amend it the same way. Nuts. <sighs> Try not to breathe all that stuff in. You can see there's some biochar pieces, but I don't know when I put that in there, so I don't know what I was doing. But this shouldn't ruin the experiment at all, hopefully.
I think I forgot to make another solo cup with holes in it. So I guess the next one I amend it would just be one solo cup. I was using this to keep the kale up at first, but it's no point now. And the reason why I'm not harvesting these is because the leaves are better, kind of gross. So I don't want to eat them. Oh, yeah. Now you could really see the root system on this bad boy. This is just insane. On a worm. It's pretty cool. Man, you would think I put like no native soil. But all right, just like the rest of them, let's amend the soil. I think I'll need to buy more of this Dr. Earth stuff, especially because I really like it anyway.
Okay. Okay, since I forgot the second cup, with this one, I'm going to plant two seeds instead of one.
Okay guys, that's all the containers we amended. Now let me show you how I plant the habaneros. Alright guys, in our last clip you saw me amending all of these soils. And uh, apparently I only have 5 cups out of the 6 that I needed. So this one's going to have 2 seeds, while the rest of them only gets 1 seed. Now I'm going to be growing some habanero lemon pepper. Uh, just because I want to try to grow some. I want to see how good this is with salsa. And yeah. Okay. If you've seen my other videos on how I plant seeds, you know, I just put just a small dibble. Town one, I said put three instead of two. Oh well. And I trip my put in the healthiest seeds that I have. Just because I have two seeds left, so I'm going to put another one here and there. Just because, why not? Get some extra germination. <clears throat> and now, just time to water it in. And the reason why you want to water it in so everything gets glued together. And you have good seed to soil contact. <clears throat> okay, now the left. I guess everything else out of everything else. It's time to label it. And the way I'm gonna label this is just put today's date. And today's date is March second. So I know when I planted these. Alright guys, and that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please do a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you want to use my Amazon affiliate link, it will be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.